Hi guys, so today is Saturday, May the 6th, and Charles III was crowned king. I remember years back, a lot of people were saying he will never be king because he is uh, married to a divorcee, Camilla. She will never be queen. But you know what? Time has proven all these people wrong. So according to CNN, Charles has been crowned in a once-in-a-generation royal event witnessed by hundreds of <laughs> millions of people. Hundreds of guests poured into the Westminster Abbey, and thousands of well-wishers were in the streets of central London despite the rain. So after Charles' mother died last September, Queen Elizabeth, he has now picked up the baton. And Saturday was the formal crowning of the monarch, the new monarch. So the service was a religious affair because Charles is the head and the supreme governor of the Church of England. He is the head of state of the United Kingdom as well as 14 other countries. So in a very memorable moment, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, placed the 360-year-old crown upon Charles's head, and then he declared, God save the king. Well, you know, there have got to be a little bit of snafus or, or people who just don't like King Charles. Because outside, people were, well, some people anyway, were holding up signs that said, not my king, you're not my king. But all in all, the day seemed to be without any major problems. So the coronation of Charles III and his wife, Camilla, as king and queen of the United Kingdom and other Commonwealth realms took place on May the 6th, 2023 at Westminster Abbey. Charles ascended to the throne on the 8th of September, 2022, upon the death of his mother, Elizabeth II. But what was so striking today is that Prince Harry attended solo without his wife Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. So Harry, who lives in California with Meghan, arrives at the Abbey on Wednesday alone without Meghan. And, of course, people were whispering and the gossip mongers were alive and well. Now Harry and Meghan have two children and the children did not appear either. Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. Now he was seated with his cousins. He was not seated with the royal family. And I said to myself, my, 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 how things have deteriorated that Meghan did not even want to attend her father-in-law's coronation. I said, oh my goodness, Meghan should have showed up. What do you all think? Drop it in the comment section. I feel Megan should have made an appearance. I don't care how much pressure they have on her. It was only for one day. She could have snubbed them, put her nose up, not say anything, just sat there like a statue, stare straight ahead. And when it was all done, jump right there in the car and just get back to America. So to me, Harry just looks so out of place, alone, and just abandoned by his wife. She should have been right there at his side because he took the L. He took the bullet, all right, for her. He thumbed his nose up and he married her in spite of what everybody else said. Even his own brother didn't want him to marry Megan. And he said, to hell with you all, this is the woman I love. So I thought she should have stood by him no matter what happened, all right? She should have been right there at his side. So pretty much Megan said, mm -mm, I'm not doing it. I tried being among these people and they almost drove me crazy. I was suicidal. I felt like just ending on unliving myself, just being around these people. So I can't even do it for one day. So honey, Megan was missing in action. She was MIA. She said, uh, 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 if you want to be among these people, you go, but I'm not going. I'm not crazy. I'm going to be home in California with my two kids and I'm going to wait for Harry to come back and I'm going to call it. Let me go ahead and call the psychiatrist right now because I know he's going to need some debriefing. He's going to need to sit with a psychiatrist and tell him all about it 
before he drives me crazy. All right. So let me get on the phone and call the psych doctor right now. Set up the appointment. So when he bring his little behind back here crying about what his father did him and what his brother did him and this, you know, I want to hear it. I'm setting up that appointment right now. So girl and guys, Megan, snob these people. That's what I call a snob. When you don't go to a major event. You snobbing, honey. They, they did not snob her. She snobbed them. So drop it in the comments section, guys. You think they will ever forget the snob that Megan put on them today? Camilla as well as Charles. Because they don't like her from the get-go. From you know, So for her to do this now, not show up at something so major, a coronation, you know they're crossing her off that list right now, okay? And putting her in that black book. So, Katy Perry showed up, and she was looking quite lovely in her pink outfit. She took a lot of pictures with that pink outfit because she was one of the better-dressed people there. Well, so the tabloids are saying. And I totally agree. She looked quite regal in her pink ensemble. Lionel Richie was also there, but I didn't see a picture of him. But Harry, who is the fifth in line for the throne was seated in a row with other guests, including Princess Beatrice, like I said before, his cousins and their husbands. So guys, that's how you're treated when you don't want to follow the protocols and the rules and not marry who they say marry, okay? Because since he got married to Megan, he have not been seated with the royal family. They put him with the cousins. They downgrade him, honey, and say, mm -mm, you sit with the peasants. So the last time that Harry saw his family, as reported by GMA, was back in September when his grandmother passed away, and that was eight months ago. So I'm sure it was a bittersweet moment for him that his wife is not there, but he's happy to see his family. So everything was quite symbolic, including King Charles's first wave from the balcony at Buckingham Palace. So, YouTubers, we have a new king in the land, the UK. I am over and out. Drop your comments in the comment section. If you would like to donate a few dollars to the channel, you can drop it on the page. You will see the super thanks right there on the page if you scroll to the left. Hit the like button when you come on or just before leaving the page. And... Also, if you have not subscribed, this is a good time to do so. I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching.